Hey, this is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about how to win in a multiple offer situation. Welcome back to the QuintonGroup.tv. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So today we're going to talk about how do you win? If you're a buyer and you're competing against other buyers to buy property, how do you win in a multiple offer bidding situation and auction type of effect? Well, Couple points I'm gonna go through here. Simply you can email me and we'll send out the actual, actual list, step-by-step step what you need to do. But here's a couple I wanna highlight. Number one, first of all, if you're working with a buyer's agent, there's some things that this buyer agent needs to be prepared with and needs to know. So another word is, what is the seller's needs? When do they wanna close? What's important to the seller, right? We need to dig a little deeper to find out their motivation and what's important to them. Number two, you know, have the lender that you're working with, if you're getting financing, have your mortgage lender, okay, your loan officer, call the listing agent or even call the seller if it's possible and explain how great you are for the qualifications, all right? You're gonna stand yourself. The whole thing is making sure you stand out among the rest, okay? And you make them feel, feel really good about selling the home to you, okay? Next, look, this is important. Remove all contingencies, okay? You need to go in strong, no home inspection. If you're able to still get a mortgage and you're pre-qualified and you're pre-approved, remove the mortgage contingency. Okay, just don't make it contingent upon one. Go get one, but don't make it. It'll show as if you're not gonna have a contingency or others, all right? Next, if you are gonna get an inspection, home inspection, you gotta shorten it, shorten it down. Five days at max, okay? Get the home inspector lined up right away so they know they have a deal. All right, next, which is most important. And I, and I see agents all the time not do this. Already right, just do it and we win. It's called an escalation clause. Simply what you're gonna do is write in the agreement that you agree to pay X dollars higher than any other offer provided. For example, let's say you're willing to pay 500,000 for a home, okay? And uh, maybe you're, you, you're, you went in with an offer 475. Well, you're gonna say, look, I'm willing to pay $25,000 more than any other offer presented, okay? So the escalation, I'm willing to escalate my offer up to 500,000 bucks, all right? Now, obviously the listing agent must prove that what the other offers are, okay? Next is a letter of emotion, we call it. A heartfelt letter, maybe write it to the seller Include a picture of you and your family and why the home's most important to you and why they should sell it to you and how you're gonna care for it like they have, right? In addition, there's a few other things and I'll wrap this up, but basically, um, what if you released your deposit to them? Like after you make your first initial deposit, second deposit, and after all contingencies are met and everything's solid, you agree to release your deposit to them non-refundable. Like I'm going to give you my money because I'm buying your house, right? Release it to them, just a thought. And then next is, you know, maybe you need to go ahead and show your tax returns, your proof of income, your two months bank statements, two months uh, proof of funds, or two months pay stubs, whatever it may be. See, the seller wants to know that you're the best buyer for them, okay? And it may not always be that you're gonna pay the highest price, but you're the best buyer. So how to win in a multiple situation right now with multiple offers, think about doing a few things here that will make you stand out among the rest. And I'll tell you, you're going to have a much better shot at getting the house versus someone else. So anyway, if you'd like to learn more about this, simply email us, info at thequintongroup.com or call me, call our team, 609-398-5333. All right. Thanks so much for watching.